More than 7,000 robots will work uh, in construction by 2025, report says. The jig is up. Worldwide market for construction robotics has reached uh, 226 million over uh, six years. Ah, you know what? I'm not that worried. It's not going to replace millions of jobs eventually. Research firm uh, Tracita today projected a uh, 226 million revenue market by uh, 2025 for the construction robotic robotics space, an area that traditionally has been labor intensive and not focused on robotics as much as industries such as manufacturing, supply chain, logistics, and healthcare. In a new report, Construction and Demolition Robotics, uh, Tra- Tra- Tractica uh, said growing interest in construction robots will drive revenue from uh, 227 point, uh, 200, I'm sorry, $22.7 million in 2018 to uh, $226 million figure by 2025. In addition, the firm said more than 7,000 construction robots will be deployed to address several construction and demolition tasks. Uh, the largest area... In terms of unit shipments, will be for robotic assistance used by uh, used on construction sites, followed by uh, infrastructure robots, structure robots, and finishing robots. Uh, Tractica said. So pretty much every level of the construction process is eventually going to be able to be done autom- automatically, and um, this is just a sign of that. And you know, yeah, construction has been one of the uh, industries that has been traditionally pretty shielded from this type right. of shit. Uh, and I know, obviously, uh, me and Scotty, um, uh, our stepdad works in the construction industry, and uh, all, a lot of his friends work in the construction industry as well. So um, we kind of know uh, those people. And, uh, you know, I guarantee it's probably not even on most of their minds that their jobs might be going away in 10, 15, 20 years. But eventually they will. That's the fucking reality. It's all going away. Everything that you think if you, you can as have- a human laborer have value. Towards, it's going away. Well, especially projects like clear a field or demolish a building. or dem- It's like, obviously, the more nuanced you get, the more, you know, it takes skills. That's going to take longer to replace those. But, the like, the most grunt ones, that, that's just going to be gone. Move this equipment. Move this there thing There is a field. Uh, there is some, some uh, forest being cleared in my neighborhood There's on a lot near here uh, to build a new house. And uh, I saw on the... Uh, I saw on a truck being used by the guys that were clearing it. Uh, they had a giant mural of a fucking uh, spangly ass bald eagle, and it said um, there was a huge caption, and it read, uh, "Try as it said something along the lines of, like, try as you might, you'll never get God to leave America." Well, when your job is replaced by one of these things or something like it, I gotta ask, where's your God now, motherfucker? That's, you're looking at it. This is your God. Maybe God won't leave America, but your job is because like the number like this is this is a speculative number by this company that is sure is likely to be correct. Let's say it is. Let's it's, say it's, it's even half correct. I mean, look, it's some. The point is that whether or not this number is correct or not, these jobs are going the way of automation. Just all, like all so jobs many other are. jobs oh, are. <laughs> the num- the jobs that are available as they, the the crazy thing to me is. The human population going up and up and up. The value of human labor going down and down and down. And meanwhile, the climate's being destroyed. And people don't think disaster is looming. I saw a guy on our fucking subreddit, the biggest retard in the goddamn universe, yep. saying like, oh, TJ and Paul are so pessimistic. Well, it's just a matter of a point of view. I'm sorry, there's no point of view under which... Increasing numbers of people get less and less work while the planet dies. That person- and somehow you can put a positive spin on that. If you can put a positive spin on that, you can. God fucking no, bless look, you. No, look, look, you totally can. But that would be like a mental illness. That'd be like saying <laughs> everything in your life is collapsing around you. The foundations that have held you up for so long are have crumbled away. Yeah, you could say, hey, it's good. It's fine. It's not a big deal. I'm just going to soldier on. I'm happy. But that would be the problem at that point. You're ignoring reality. And it's really easy to ignore reality, but it's not the right thing to do. You have to carefully consider all of these issues and say, is this going to be a net benefit to humanity? Or is this going to be a almost insurmountable odds that we're facing? And increasingly, if we take no action and make no changes, the fucking, it's going to tip so far against us that we're not going to be able to recover. Or at the very uh, maybe the best case scenario, billions of people are going to have suffering, horrible lives, and die. And all these preventable diseases... And all the things we've taken for granted in the last hundred years, all the gains we've made are going to be totally erased. Optimism is a mental illness. 
<laughs> That's all I have to Kay say. Sera, sera, TJ. <laughs> Yeah, whatever you know, will be, will be. I just choose to take like a positive spin on it, man. <laughs> you can. If, if the world is going to be a toxic fucking sludge hole, then I want it to be the best toxic sludge <laughs> hole it can be. You know what I mean? Awesome, brah.